now that we have a very basic understanding of the structure of a script, let's go ahead and write some code. I'm going to use a function here called, I'm going to use an object called debug and a function called log. What this, what this object and function does is to print a message onto the console in Unity. I'm just going to write a message saying, hello world. Going to save it and go back to Unity. If I run the game right now, nothing will happen. And that's because we have created a script, but we haven't attached the script onto the game. So it's something that we currently have available, but since we haven't attached to the game, it's not part of the game yet. Actually, let me click run there. Okay, so as you can see, the, this is the console. By the way, if you don't have this, you can go to Window, General, and click Console. You should have this panel somewhere on Unity. Like I was saying, in order to get the script, the script to actually be part of your game, you need to attach to something. Let's go ahead and create a cube here, and then we'll just make the cube our main player. I'm just gonna name it main, main player cube. In order to attach the script to the cube, it's actually really straightforward. You can simply select the script and drag and, and drop onto your game object. And once you select the game object, you can actually see it here. You can, if you have your main object selected, you can grab the script and drop it here. Or you can go to add component and you can search for it. So in this case, our main script is called main player script. You can just search for it, click on it, and there it is. Now we've attached the script three times and we definitely don't need to do that. So one simple way to remove components out of the inspector panel is right clicking and clicking remove component. Very good. At this point, we have our main player cube and let me go ahead and click play. We should see a message print here. If you started your game and you don't see a message, make, sh make sure that you have this selected. At that point, you can see that it actually printed the message.